Hey everybody, this is Christina from Brush and Bristle Studio. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. I'm gonna go over how to use the 40 ounce print template. I'm gonna be using this in Photoshop, but you can also use this in Photopea. Photopea is a free web-based software. I'll pull it up real fast to show you. Um, if you go to photopea.com, you can access it on a PC, um, an iPad, a phone, any kind of smart device that has a web browser. Um, as long as you have a web browser, you can go to photopia.com. You don't need an account. You don't have to pay for anything. It is 100% free and it's very comparable to Photoshop. It has a lot of the same tools. So if you're looking for something free to use, I would totally use Photopea. Um, a lot of the stuff that I'm going to go over in Photoshop is going to be the same for Photopea. Um, but I'll pop into Photopea in a minute and show you guys the slight change in how you're going to load that uh, smart object but everything else is really the the same let's go back to photoshop and you're going to see your three pieces right here um and if you look over here you'll see your layers you've got your top your middle and your bottom so let's double click on this top smart object you're going to double click on this thumbnail right here and as you see it's opened up your top smart object now we're gonna go open let's go 40 ounces well let's get a three-piece <laughs> for this example um oh, that's not a three-piece either All right, so you can copy and paste this in here. And if you don't know how to copy and paste, um, you'll just press Control A, or you can use this marquee tool right here and drag and drop it until it covers the whole thing. Um, you'll see these little marching ants when the whole design's been um, selected. So then you can press Control C to copy or go up here to edit and hit copy. Um, then you can close out, press control V or go edit, paste, and you see, you've got it right there. Now, sometimes sizes aren't always right. So you can press control T to make sure that it is sized to the document. All right. Um, now let's say your, as you can see, your proportions are linked right now. So if you try to resize the top, the sides are going to resize as well. If you don't want to resize both at once, you just want to mess with the side. Um, you can come up here and you'll see this little link right here and you can uncheck that and that will allow you to resize just one side. One thing I like to do to just like, make things move quicker <laughs> is I will not turn that off, but I'll hold down shift. And when you hold down shift and try and drag and drop, it'll do the same thing. So I love doing that just as a way to speed up my process. So press that check mark up there or press enter, and then you can press control S or you can go up to file and save because we just saved. It isn't lit up right now, but you can normally click on that. If we go back over here, you see it's already turned it and everything for you. So you upload the files normally. You don't have to like reposition them, turn them around, do any of that nonsense. Um, you just quickly come in here and you load your files. So I'm going to repeat the same process I did a second ago. Copy and paste. And copy and paste into this one. And again, you can do resizes on these to get them whatever size you need. Um, but these are sized for what I do my prints at for 40 ounces. Um, now with all things, sizing can be a little different. Um, if you need something resized, just contact me. I can help walk you through how to do it or I can make an extra version with a different size. It's not a big deal. Um, but 
if you have questions or anything regarding how to use it in Photoshop, let me know. But um, let's take a look at Photopea in just a second. So if you're interested in seeing Photopea and how this works in Photopea, stick around and I'll get back to you in just a second. Um, but if you're only interested in the Photoshop version, I hope that this tutorial helped you figure out how to use it. Um, if you have any questions or need help with anything, please feel free to reach out to me. Comment below, send me a message in my Etsy shop. I'm always happy to help. Um, but I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see those of you for Photopea in the Photopea portion. Okay guys, I'm going to go over how to use this template in Photopea now. As I said in the first part of this tutorial, Photopea is a free web browser software that you can use. It's very comparable to Photoshop. Um, you access it by going to photopea.com on your PC web browser or in a um, um, smart device. So as I said, this is very similar to Photoshop. Um, there's like a slight difference with how we're going to go over using the smart objects and updating the smart objects. Um, so as we did in Photoshop, we're going to double click on the smart object thumbnail that's right here. And as you see, it opened up the layer. Now we're going to go file and instead of just hitting open, we're going to hit open in place. And this is going to speed things up even more. Um, so if you're trying to do something like trying to make this as quick as possible, I would probably recommend using Photopea because it does cut out a couple steps. So let's see, we're going to go find this. And as you see, it went ahead and copied and pasted it into this and set it to free transform for us. So that way we can go ahead and make those sizing adjustments. And see, the sides are still like visible. So I don't want this link up here. So I'm going to, you can press that to do the one side. Or you can keep that on and press shift. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, it kind of snaps when you are resizing. And that's one thing that Photopea does differently than Photoshop. Like when you up, when you put a PNG file in Photoshop, it doesn't respect the like original canvas of that PNG, if that makes sense. So like this top part, is a PNG file, but it was saved with a transparent like border around it. Um, so trying to resize it, it's still remembering that blank space from the PNG. Um, and that's what makes it a little awkward to try and resize in here. So you, if you go to view, you'll see snap right here. Let's uncheck that. And I'm going to keep holding down shift so I can resize, but as you see, it's not snapping and making things as awkward as it was. It makes it much easier to try and do a resizing when you can have more free control with that. So I think I'm happy with how it is. I don't think anything got cut off. So now we're going to hit this check mark up here, or you can press enter and it'll accept it. Now, the other change from Photoshop is we can still press Control S to save, but if you don't do it with Keybind, you can go up to File and Save Smart Object, and that's gonna update the Smart Object file for you. See if we go back over, it's put there. Um, and it looks like I still see a little bit of that black border right there, but it's okay. Um, so you learned quite a few things with the Photopea portion today. Um, of course you're going to do the same things with 
the middle and the bottom, you'll do the copy, well, the open in place, and that'll copy and paste everything in there and get it set to free transform for you. And then you'll go to file, um, save smart object <laughs> to update the smart object for you. Um, every now and then, I haven't had it happen in Photopea yet, but I, I don't typically print through Photopea. <laughs> I don't typically print through Photopea. I typically print through Photoshop. But I know with Photoshop, there are times I will use templates and I will set up the print and I'll try to print through that program while the while I'm using the Photoshop file, the main template file, and it'll crash. So if that happens, just save the print file, like save this as a PNG, like print one or whatever, and then you can pull up the PNG file of this and print that and you shouldn't have any problems. Um, I'm just trying to think of anything that might give you guys any kind of problems using these, but, um, if you'll have any questions or if you need help with anything, uh, feel free to reach out to me, leave a comment below, message me in my Etsy shop. I'm always happy to help. Um, but I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful and y'all enjoy the template. Hope you have a great day. Mm -hmm.